Okay, so uh, today we're gonna take a look at some Apple leather products, uh, as I have a few, because uh, I'm in just, just in love with the saddle brown color. So here you can see the new iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 leather case in saddle brown. And this is my old uh, iPhone XS, 10S uh, leather case in saddle brown. You can see the, the color difference. They were actually uh, pretty much the same color when I when I got them. Um, and today I want to talk about why the new leather case in saddle brown is much worse than the old one. And it all has to do with the finish, I think. So let me break this down. If you want your leather to patina on your iPhone, the saddle brown has always been the best choice. But this year, is it? Uh, I've have, I haven't had this one for long enough to actually get a real good patina. It started in the corners and so on. I'm going to show you close up just in a second. But I've also noticed that it doesn't patina as fast or as at all in some places like this one. It just took a couple of weeks and you started to get this real good patina. Uh, and that to me says that the coating is very light or no coating, just a dye, uh, which is what you want to get the patina. I'm going to talk more about, you know, some uh, leather stuff because I do actually work in leather craft so I do have experience in it and I'm going to break down the different types of leather you can use and finishes and so on uh, to make you understand why I can just compare these two this is the the forest green for the iPhone XS and this is the saddle brown okay this one is maybe used a year and this one is used for three four months but if these were used the same amount of time the patina would be totally different because this one looks almost brand new after several months and this one did not look brand new after several months so you just have to trust me on that one but I'm going to show you because it has to do with the the way they are finished the coating on them because the leather is coated or dyed or both but yeah we're going to break it down so please I hope you enjoy some uh, leather knowledge and why I think that this case might look ugly I think it's going to take a year maybe for this one to actually get the nice patina or if it even does get a nice patina I'll talk about it just in a second um, but I think I, I need to show you the the pictures I found online here so I'm cutting them in now so you can see how other people have who have used the case more uh, or for longer basically uh, how they get the patina and yeah Apple I think Apple did a mistake on this one uh, but let's take a closer look and I'm going to explain to you along the way. Yeah, I'm going to take these cases first. I'm going to let you know that this case did patina real well, as you can see. But this case, it has almost the same color as when I got it. The only place where it got some patina is right on the edges here. I'm not even sure you can tell it because it's such a dark color to begin with but they are almost black to, to, the, to the eye so it, it does patina on the stress points or the wear points of the leather and I'm pretty sure that this has a much thicker coating on it let me take these leather pieces over here I can, I can tell you that this is a high quality vegetable tanned leather in natural color it has no coloring or dye at all, you know, coating or protection or anything. This is how leather looks when you have applied. There's a coating, uh, but there's also a dye straight through, but the coating is darker than the dye straight through. So this has a heavy coating, which is, in my opinion, uh, similar to this one and, uh, sorry, this one. Whereas it has no finish basically, it's just dyed straight through and has the raw leather on top, which will make the oil on your hands. It's going to, uh, I mean, the leather is going to just absorb it. Whereas when you have a coating like this, it's not going to absorb it until the coating is worn off. That's important. I'm going to tell you just in a second why both of these leathers are good but you need to apply them to the correct product. 
So let me show you where, what I mean. I have here some leather balm, which is actually a you know, nourishment for the leather. And I'm gonna take some on my finger. I'm going to apply it to this. you will start to see that this leather absorbs it and that actually creates a discoloring. So you can see the leather is starting to turn brown. Um, and what you notice is also that high quality vegetable tan leather will get darker in the sunlight, but the coated leather will not because it has a protective layer. If I take the, the same here and I place it on this, Leather, it's also just going to be soaked up and it makes the leathers darker in both cases because this has no protective finish on them. I'm going to do the same on this leather here. Yes, you can see that it darkens, but it, it's actually a reflection. Let me show you. If I now, now wipe these off with a little rag, you can see that on this leather it's just, you know, an oily finish on top. But on these leathers it's actually soaked into it. And that's where you get the color change. But what happens if we scratch this coating off? Sorry for the shake now. Okay. There we have, you can see that it's lighter underneath. That's because the coating is darker than the leather dye itself. And then we take a little bit more of this stuff and we apply it there where the coating has been rubbed off. We take our small rag and wipe it away. You can immediately see that the leather has soaked up the oils and it has darkened. But this one has a real thick coating, whereas this one ha has not or did not have. So your oils from your hands and the sweat and so on was absorbed basically within like the first week or two. It started to absorb down here and around the corners. And the corners are also an important part because this has rounded corners, which will mean that you get even wear. Okay, it's going to wear faster on these parts because they are, you know, have a, a, a pointy edge to them, basically. But the rest is rounded, which means that the wear or the absorption of oils will happen evenly. On this one, the wear will happen primarily on the edges, which there are lots of edges. And I think that maybe Apple, you know, did lots of tests. And if you had this type of leather, it would discolor these edges within a week. It will look dirty or yeah, like not so good. So when you apply a thicker coating, it's going to look new for longer, but it's also preventing that even patina that you get from a less thick coating or no coating at all, which this case was like famous for. So I will probably, probably we will see that with, after a year of use, it will have a, a, a large patina, but it will also have patches where the coating is still intact. And it's going to be look, looking ugly in my mind. So I would have wanted them to use the same type of leather and finish that they had done in the past. And that would have made this case patina much nicer. But uh, time will tell, of course. But I'm also going to try to make a video where we, you know, force the patina here. If that's with alcohol or acetone or just sandpapering away the finish, I don't know. But uh, that's for another video. But I would just want you to know before you purchase any leathers and leather cases that this will not patina the same way that your old cases did in the saddle brown color. I think this has quite a thick coating as well, but this is not used in, ex in even remotely the same way that, that you use your phone, which means that this will be scuffed up and scratched and so on, but it will never see, you know, this wear from hands with oils and stuff. That's why it will take many years for this one to grow any patina.
and then you can add a thick coat because you will you will not have uneven wear that's the same with car seats they will have pretty even wear on large patches that's why they don't look as ugly until maybe 20 years after they were produced so there are cases where thick coatings on leather is good to protect the leather and make it look nice for a long time but that is not when you have high wear items or high use items with pointy edges like this because then it's going to look ugly but uh, as I said, time will tell if, if I'm right or wrong. Just to note on this one as well, it has a very synthetic feel on it. This feels like rubber plastic. And this one never did. Uh, the leather just felt right out of the, uh, the box. On this one, not so much. So something has changed. So I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this comparison and some knowledge in leather. And um, yeah, we can't forget that this one has been bumped up in price as well. So I'm not really happy with it, but yeah, uh, that's my opinion. And stay tuned for the video where we try to force some patina on this, or at least get rid of the coating in some places and see if the patina can, can be applied. Because even if I but take some you know, dye here and rub it in, it's acting exactly like it did on this one. It's just like nothing. And that to me tells the, I mean that the coating is protecting the leather. But once it wears off in the yeah, corners, it's going to look strange because it gets real dark. And this is a real light color. So maybe they should have gone with the darker brown coating for this one. And that would have made it look nicer for longer. Thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more 